This is Don Gregory coming to you from Megan Harden's office at the Robertson Center of Southwestern University. And I'm very honored to be joined uh, with today by Kelsey Ficus, sophomore uh -huh. at Southwestern University. And we want to establish right from the start that this is not an interview. This is Greg's hanging with Kelsey. So it's going to be a conversation. So what we'll start with first, though, Kelsey, is please just give our massive global uh, audience a little background of how you got to Southwestern, so on and so forth, and uh, what, what, what it's like to be Kelsey Ficus at Southwestern University. What a story. Okay, so I'm from Thrall, Texas. It's a tiny, tiny down about 45 minutes from here. And um, I got to Southwestern here to play basketball. I love this school and the community is fantastic. Greg's is great. I'm a business major here and I play basketball and I do track and field, but I don't do the track part. I just do um, the field part. I mean, amazing yeah. time of year for you, though. Pardon me for interrupting, but amazing time of year for you, though, Kelsey. You got finals coming up. You got conference championships. I mean, man, how do you how do you put it all together? That's a that's a good question. Um, it's a lot, but we have fun through it. Um, I work hard, do my studies, do my events, and you know, just go for it. Kelsey is magic, by the way. She can handle it, so which is great. So, also, you mentioned before you're from Thrall, Texas, and I'd be also willing to bet that a lot of our viewers out there maybe have never heard from Thrall. That's not a bad thing, but give us a little background about what exactly Thrall is. Um, okay, Thrall is literally this tiny town between Rockdale and Taylor. You drive through it and you blink like you'll miss it. Um, we have two convenience stores, a school, and a junkyard. Um, I graduated with 49 people, so I had a very small class, but um, Thrall is a very close-knit community and um, everyone there is very great and it's, it's homey. So we can anticipate having a sign outside Thrall that Thrall is the home of Kelsey Ficus? Man, we could only wish for that, you know? I'd, I'd be the first one to put in for it, oh, Kel, so maybe we best. can make that work. Maybe we can make that work. <laughs> All right, quick question. One more question about Thrall. Is it true what they say about the rivalry between Thrall and Thorndale? Yeah, but Thrall's better. <laughs> I'm just saying. You heard it here first, folks. Thrall is better. <laughs> And I'll do respect to our viewers down in Thorndale. So, yeah, but yeah great. Sorry. All right, next question is this, and I'll try to word this correctly here, but Ficus is not really your most common everyday name. So right. what I'd like you to do is, if you can have any, either introduced at high school or a Southwestern game, who butchered, in fact, give me the top three. Oh, who my butchered your name the worst when they introduced it before a game? Oh, my goodness. Well, I've heard Ficus all of my life. Um, it does look like that. Like I can get mad, but also like that's how it's spelled. So I can't get too mad. Um, I've heard Focus before, which I don't know where exactly that came from. Drop the Y, I guess. Drop the Y, I guess so. But like my own mom calls me Ficus, so it's you know, it's who well, I am. That's awesome. And then, uh, what's the origin of Ficus? Ficus. I'm sorry. It's Ficus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what's the origin? Is that German? Is it Dutch? Is it's it... from Czech. Czechoslovakia. Oh, check. Very cool. But it's weird because it used to be <laughs> F-A-J-U-S, which I don't know how. Okay. I think they had to change it because that would just be oh. too confusing here. Very cool. Not that anybody cares, but uh, my family name was McGregor when they first came over. Then it got reduced to Gregory. So a little oh. Scotch-Irish in there sitting ah. next to Czech, you said? Yes. Very cool. So we have an international audience we're probably playing to today as well. So, All right, uh, Kelsey, I'm going to do the best I can to word this. I'm a little nervous about this question. Oh, gosh. But what I'd, like, what I'd like you to do in your own words is describe your running style on the basketball court. Who told you to ask that? I, be, I, I Okay, I have to say, <laughs> I have to say, when I go watch an SU basketball game, and I've seen a lot of pirate athletes perform in the past. And one of the most remarkable things I have witnessed live is you getting a rebound, starting the break, getting down the court. And I would love to hear from your words how you describe your running style. Um, I go hard. <laughs> um, I will not forget the first day, second day of practice my freshman year, Coach Morris roasted. I mean, roasted how I ran. Um, I get like the arms going arms, and then the legs start going legs. and I feel like I'm going so fast, <laughs> but <laughs> it's not always the case. Speed is Coach relevant. Is like run faster. I'm like, Coach, I'm running as fast as I can, but apparently it wasn't that fast. So. All, all I can say though, Kels, is this, is when I see you running down the court, I notice that the Southwestern kids kind of tend to stay a little bit out of the way. And the opponents oh, yeah. sometimes also go, 
I'm not sure I want to get in this person's way. I'm not stopping for anybody, and Greg. So I no. love it, though. I love it. I just want to give out a cheer to, man, y'all in the stands, <laughs> watch Kelsey Ficus run because it is the coolest thing I think I've seen at SU Athletics. Oh, you're the best. So keep it rolling. So you're the best. Keep it rolling and keep going to the hoop, right? <laughs> keep going to the hoop. Always. So. All right, question of a serious note. We'll change tone a little bit here. Uh, I don't know if y'all know, but we take trips over to the Williamson County Juvenile Center. <sighs> And Kelsey's been one of the SU athletes who've been kind enough to come join us. So we go over and play sports uh, with the kids. So put in your own words what it's like to go over there with kids that are obviously incarcerated and maybe, you know, at a low point in their lives or whatever, but trying to get out. What's it like for you to go over and play basketball, play volleyball with those kids? This has been an experience of honestly a lifetime. Um, Greg's invited me to come one time and I was like, you know what, why not? I've never done something like this before. When I got there, I fell in love with those kids. Um, they, they're good kids. Um, they're going through a rough time in their life and um, they're going through a, a little learning curve, I guess, but they're great people. They have ambitions, um, they're funny, uh, they have these beautiful souls and um, just being able to be over there and play basketball and talk with them really has changed my life. I go there, I have a lot of fun, they have a lot of fun. It's it's life-changing. That's awesome you go, Kelsey, and the other SU athletes that have come with us, and quite frankly, the other SU students, and uh, anybody out there that would like to join us, it, it's great. It's kind of awesome. random, because it's kind of hard fitting everybody's schedule together, but it really is worth it. It really is awesome. So, um, Unless there's something you really have a burning desire to say, I only have one last question. Bring it. It's okay. All right. I don't know if everybody knew it, and they probably didn't, but earlier in the year, I had some poison oak. Uh, I was weeding, I guess, in the backyard and uh, came in. I had this stuff like growing all over my face and arms. And Kelsey's, as a dear friend of mine, was very kind to give me a little bit of lotion. So I don't know if we can get a little zoom in on the camera here, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, the little bottle of uh, medical care she gave me said something about leprosy. Um, now, Kelsey, I know you're incredibly smart, you're wonderful. Your personality is great, but you kind of give me a little explanation as to how leprosy cream was going to help me with my poison oak? Well, see, the poison oak was so bad. It was just like all over his face. I wasn't completely convinced that it was just poison oak. And Greg's earlier in this year, um, I wish I would have brought it, but gave me a little bottle of shampoo because some people don't think I wash my hair enough. Um, so I just had to return the favor. <laughs> It was, it was awesome. Right? <laughs> and if anybody else but you, I might have been a little upset, but getting a gift of leprosy, not the gift, of leprosy, <laughs> to cure my leprosy from Kelsey Figus was just absolutely huge. So thanks so much, Kelsey. Oh, yeah, no problem. Anytime. And, it, and it, in fact, so everybody knows, this is the first time we've had a conversation like this. So mm -hmm. you're the first visitor, and I'm Woo! honored to have you here and everything. And I feel also from my end that I should give you a gift again. So I'll do that. And this is also marketing. We're going to market oh. something new for Southwestern University. So I don't know if we can get a little zoom in on this as well. But Greg's today is going to give Kelsey new product on the market, Pirate, small letters, Shampoo. Because her nickname is Poo for Shampoo. So Kels, please take it from Greg's that you get your own, but it's empty. But get your this bottle of Pirate This is such an honor. <laughs> wow, thank you. And I hope there's Kleenex, Megan has Kleenex. Get up, tearing up a little bit. This is getting a little choking or touching. So, uh, but anyway, we want to thank you very much for listening today. All our worldwide viewers, so on and so forth. And we look forward to the next interview conversation. And all I can say is it's going to be tough to follow Kelsey Ficus. So, so Kels, best of luck on your finals. Best thank of luck you. at conference championships. And uh, go Pirates. Go Pirates. You're awesome, Gregs. You're the best. Boo.